Hello, everyone. My name is Alex Pavlock, and I am a systems engineer with Fortinet. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a quick demonstration on how to onboard to 40 Sassy. Going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys and walk you through this process. It's pretty straightforward and, and easy. So here we go. First thing you're going to do, just like with any other Fortinet products, is you're going to sign into your 40 Cloud account and you are going to register your new product. Once you buy it, um, you will be delivered a uh, registration code and then you will come in here and register your product. Uh, once registered, you can come under the services tab here and under cloud services, select 40 SASE and wait for this to load. It's going to check your 40 cloud account. Make sure you have entitlement to 40 SASE. And here we go. This is going to be the start of the onboarding process. Go ahead and click start onboarding. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to, going to select your point of presence or POPs as they're referred to. Um, these are going to be the data centers where traffic is flowing through. So in this instance, we have two um, options that we can choose. Um, this is a NFR license. So we have two. The normal um, 40 SASE point of presence is four. So um, as a customer, you will have you will select four options here. Um, what you want to do here is basically select um, some pops that are going to be closest to your end users. So for for this demonstration purposes, uh, we are going to select um, Dallas and San Jose. Um, logging, um, this is where the logs are going to be sent to, um, which pop that we actually want to send these to. Um, we can basically keep these the same if you want. Um, we'll, we'll leave it with uh, San Jose here. And for endpoint management, we will select another pop where we actually want our configurations pushed down to our clients from. Um, we'll go with Oregon here. I'm located in the US, so we'll go with the US one here. And this may take a little bit to initialize, as you might have seen on the first screen there. Um, it does give a disclaimer um, that this can take uh, anywhere up to 10 minutes around that time frame. So um, I'll go ahead and pause the video here. Um, once this is done initializing, um, this is basically spinning up all those uh, instances on the back end right now to get the SASE solution up and running. Um, so I'll go ahead and pause here and I will come back once this is completed. All right, and we are back here and the provisioning has been completed. So now uh, let's go ahead and launch. There was just a hiccup there. Alrighty, so it looks like we're on 23.3 version. Um, all that is kept up to date on the back end, so you don't really need to worry about what version there is, but you can look at some some release notes if needed. And here is what our dashboard looks like. Uh, we can see the pops that we're connected to up over here. Um, all looks good. Uh, to do your uh, client onboarding now, uh, we can go under uh, remote users here, and then we can just click uh, onboard users.
And then you can see here, this is the uh, installer link um, that we can either download the uh, package file, or we can send this out as a link in an email to your users, uh, which then they'll just um, go to their email, click the download link, which will download the 40 client uh, on their machine. Uh, 40 client is going to look like that for them. Um, you can also do this under uh, configuration. And then uh, where are we? Well, it looks like this, oh, uh, sorry, users and groups, uh, and then onboard users. Um, just the nomenclature just changed between the last time I was on here and, and now. So uh, you can do the same thing here uh, that I was showing you before uh, from the dashboards tab and the status. Uh, you can do this under the configuration and then users and groups, uh, and then you can do the onboard users here. Um, that's where you'll, you'll go ahead and uh, onboard users. Just wanted to add in here, um, if we are doing onboarding for the uh, 40 Sassy agent list version, which is just uh, secure web gateway features for endpoints um, to, to onboard for those users, um, you can download uh, the pack file under system and then secure web gateway configuration. Um, this instance here, um, we do not get access to this uh, feature just in our environment here, but um, you'll come over here to enable and then click OK, and then it will provision out the pack files and enable that feature uh, within your infrastructure on the back, back end there. Uh, and then you can just download that pack file from here and then uh, push that out to your users uh from email or um you can push that out from any type of like an mdm solution as well and that's basically what onboarding to 40 sassy looks like so um if, if there are any questions or anything uh, rolling this out, um, you can just uh, put in the chat and uh, I can be of assistance there. So thanks everyone. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Take care.